So if you look up red decks in the BT6 meta, the main red deck that you're going to see is Jessmon. And in my opinion, Jessmon is trash and it is not the best way to play red in BT6. Now you might be wondering, well if Jessmon is trash and it's not the best deck to play in BT6, then what deck is the best? Well, let me show you. Roll the intro! What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Zay, the resident Digimon expert here on the TCG Cast channel. And today, we have an awesome red deck to profile for you guys today. And like I mentioned in the intro, it's not Jessmon. <laughs> it's definitely not Jessmon. But it's another deck that we have actually already seen in the meta before. And it's Shoutmon, uh, if, you, if you haven't figured it out from the, the, the title of the video or the thumbnail. Um... But before I get into this uh, profile, this is the first deck profile of 2022. So happy new year to all of you guys. Let's have a banger of a year. Um, and yeah. <laughs> so let's get into the deck profile. So for the eggs, we play four Demi Marimon. Now this is a new egg in BT6, which basically has the inheritable skill is when this Digimon attacks a player, and a player specifically, <laughs> uh, it gets a thousand power. So with the deck, so with Shoutmon essentially, we're, we're gonna be attacking the player like nine times out of 10. Um, and so we need that extra that extra thousand power boost just to get over other uh, level sixes. Um, and, and we also have some other kind of DP enhancing uh, elements in this deck, and I will uh, show you here in a second. So now the next egg and the last egg that we play is Gigimon. So this is the egg from the starter deck. And basically this egg is really cool because on your turn, once per turn, when an opponent's Digimon is deleted, this Digimon gets plus 2000 power. And with the Shoutmon ability, we're definitely able to kill certain dig or our opponent's Digimon on our turn so we can get this uh, this power advantage, which is fantastic. And so now let's get into the level threes. So for the first level three we play, it, it has to be Shoutmon. Absolutely. Play cost, or not a play cost, <laughs> uh, but a full play set of Shoutmon from BT5. Now the reason this card is amazing is because on play, for three memory of course, you, re you reveal the top five cards of your deck and then you add a card with Shoutmon in its name and a card with Blitz in its name and you get to add them to your hand. And usually, whenever, like whenever I play this deck, I, I usually nine or eight times out of 10 plus two with this card. It's very fantastic. Also, it has an inheritable skill of when this Digimon has Blitz, not using Blitz specifically, when it has Blitz, uh, it gets plus 2,000 power. So if we use Shoutmon, and if we use either the GG Mon or the uh, uh, Demi Marimon, we could potentially turn our Shaomon DX into a uh, into a 15 or a 16K potentially, which is fantastic. And so that's why we play the Shaomon. Now the next car that we play is who else but Shaomon? <laughs> yes. Now. This is the BT6 Shoutmon, which is fantastic. So its inheritable effect is when attacking once per turn, if this Digimon has Blitz, you trigger draw one, which is amazing. So what we can do is if we have, if we have it on our sources under Shoutmon and we use Blitz, uh, we can swing and draw a card, or if we really want to, we can put this uh, if we digivolve to a Shaomon, we can put this on the top of its digivolution sources and then draw a card uh, while we're attacking, which is fan fantastic. And drawing cards in any card game is also awesome. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. So now for the next level three that we play, we play three Agumon. Yes. Now why are we playing Agumon in this build? Well, because this Agumon has the inheritable skill 
of when this Digimon attacks a player, it gets plus 2,000 power for the turn. So if you, if you see where we're, what I was talking about earlier, you can see where we're kind of going with this. So essentially, if we have Shoutmon, and if we have either like Gigimon or a Demi Merimon under it, we can basically make our Shoutmon into a very powerful Digimon, which is incredible. And then we can also gain some other effects from that. Now our next level three that we play is two Monodramon. Um, the main reason that we just play this card is because essentially we need to have a rookie that could potentially memory choke our opponent. Um, and so playing this Monodramon just to put our opponent to one always feels good. And then we have an attacker that we can use afterwards or we could digivolve it into a, a blocker or into any other Digimon uh, that we have in our hand uh, that well, has a, well, that's a level four, of course. Um, and it's fantastic. And now the last level three Digimon that we play in our deck is Gilmon. Now this is a promo and basically when attacking, you get to trigger draw one. So we get to draw cards when attacking. That's awesome. And if our opponent just lets us live, we can just use this as a beat stick to attack. Fantastic. And this triggers whenever, and this isn't like a once per turn ability. So if somehow we're able to like unsuspend it and then swing again, we can just continue to draw cards. Um, but this is also amazing. <laughs> now let's get into the level fours of our deck. So the first level four that we play, of course, is, is the classic Monochromon, which is a level four blocker that costs one to Digivolve. And that's literally the only main reason that we play this in this deck. Like I said, it's a blocker. Cost one Digivolve, it's great. Um, now sadly, it does die to certain effects because it's a 5k, uh, it's a 5k Digimon, but it is very useful because we can just turbo into our Shoutmons pretty quickly, which is always great. Now our next level four is that we play is two Corridormon. So remember how I said that our Monochromon is a five cost blocker or is a 5k blocker. This is a 6k blocker. Now, yes, it costs two to Digivolve, but it's a good blocker to have just to kind of have our opponent like kind of like halt their plays a bit and try to work around this Quadramon, which is always fantastic. Nine times out of 10. <laughs> and so our next level four is that we play is two Dark Tyrannomon. Now, this is cool because it's a level four that costs one to Digivolve on top of level three. And it's also a 6,000 power Digimon, which is nice because we can turbo into our Shoutmon and we could potentially use this as a beat stick in a way because if we have our Demimera under it or even if we have Gigimon under it and maybe like an Agumon, we can swing for potentially 10K or 9k, which is actually pretty crazy. <laughs> All right, and the last level four that we play in this deck, which is a common uh, red classic card, you gotta play four of the starter deck Greymon. Absolutely have to. Absolutely have to. You wanna know why? Because it's an inheritable effect, it's security attack plus one. So whatever Digimon that you have on top of it, gain security attack plus one. So we can give our Shoutmon a lot of power, a lot of power with this. And making it potentially a 16K Digimon that swings for security attack plus one, busted. <laughs> Cause it's not gonna die to anything except an option card potentially. And now let's get to the level fives. So the level fives that we have in this deck is a classic level five that you always have to play in Shoutmon, which is Omni Shoutmon. This is fantastic. This is actually a very broken card because one, it has an effect where your Shoutmon uh, can digivolve into this Digimon for a cost of four, which is fantastic. You wanna know why? Because if we have either this Shoutmon or even our searcher shell one, we can digivolve it for four, skipping the level uh, the level four process, 
and going just straight from a level three to a level five. That's actually busted. Actually busted. And also, it has an inheritable effect where while this Digimon has Blitz, and I, I mean that, and that's, that's a, very, a very key word, has. When it has Blitz, it gains security attack plus one. So, if we have Shoutmon, if we have Omni Shoutmon, or sorry, not Omni Shoutmon, but Shoutmon DX on top, Omni Shoutmon under it, and then our uh, security attack plus one Greymon, we're swinging for three checks for potentially 16k, which is absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Now our next level five that we play in this deck is actually a new level five that I don't really see a lot of people playing. And it is a Suramon. So this Digimon is actually busted because it's a level five that has Blitz. So this Digimon can attack uh, your opponent even if they have one or more memory so on their turn you can attack them which is crazy and then it's an 8k Digimon so like I mentioned earlier if we have essentially like our maybe like a GG or a Demi Marimon and or maybe a GG Mon and then if we have let's say Agumon under it just this alone, and we swing at our opponent, this turns into an 11k Digimon. That's busted. And if we also have the Greymon under it, this turns into an 11k Digimon that can swing for two checks. And it's just a level 5. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. And for the next level fives that we play in this deck is Volkdramon and Groundramon. So with these two Digimon, they're and, and for my for my perspective of my deck, these are kind of interchangeable, meaning that you could play like instead of playing a uh, Volkdramon, you could play uh, just two Groundramons, or you can just play two Volkdramons instead of a ground Dramon. But I think it's nice to kind of have these at the disposal because of Voltramon. This also gets security attack plus uh, gives our hairball of a security attack plus one. So we can have our Shoutmon uh if we have the the, the necessary pieces, uh, we could potentially swing uh for a security attack uh plus two, breaking three shields, which is busted. Or if we just want to turbo into our uh, Shoutmon or our Shoutmon DX, we can use this Ground Dramon to do that. Or if our hand is just very like bricky at the time, we can just hard play this for five uh, to not give our opponent as much memory as uh, we would want to. Um, and also, uh, we can just go into a level, or also it's a level five uh, that's on the board as opposed to say a Digimon like. Uh, uh, like our core Dramon, that's also has a play cost of five and a DP of six. So that's why we play those. Now, before I show off Shoutmon DX, I want to talk about the first level, or the other level six that we play in this deck. So just for those that have never seen Shoutmon play before, that you understand like what this deck can do. So for the level six, we play Z Greymon. This card is actually pretty awesome because one, it has Blitz. When Digivolving, you have Blitz. And when you have Blitz, also another thing I should mention, when you Digivolve into a Digimon that has Blitz, it's not a once per turn thing. It does not say once per turn anywhere in this card. So it continuously has Blitz. So keep that in mind for the other effects that we mentioned earlier. Um, and also, it has an inheritable skill is when this card attacks with Blitz, it can also attack your opponent's unsuspended Digimon. So we could potentially like board clear our opponent. And it's, yeah, it's, it's just really, it's, it's, it's such a good card. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. And, I, and I'll talk about later on in this video how just busted this card is. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys Shoutmon. Yes. Also, have to play four Shoutmon. Absolutely have to. 
So why is Shaman so good? Because one, when digivolving, you have bullets. That's fantastic. Also, when digivolving, you could play a red Digimon from your hand at the top of this Digimon's uh, Digivolution sources uh, just, just for free, basically. And then, for each Omni Shoutmon or Z Greymon that is on or that is under or the, that's in its sources, essentially, you get to delete uh, one of your opponent's Digimon with 5,000 power or less. So if we have both of these on here, there we go. Let's put this, push this up a little bit. <laughs> if we have both of these under the Shoutmon, we get to kill two 5,000 power Digimon. That is crazy. And then also, another thing that should be noted, uh, if you Digivolve uh, this Shaman DX on top of level 5, you have to pay 4 memory. But if you Digivolve this on top of level 6, like the Z Greymon, you only, you only have to uh, pay 2 to Digivolve it. Which is actually clutch, and you can kind of like expand your plays and whatnot by using this. But it is it's just so crazy. And this is a good also kind of counter essentially to Jessmon. Because if they try to play so if they play like Sistermon or both their Sistermons and then they have essentially the um maybe like Savior Hookmon out, you can essentially Digivolve, let's say like Digivolve Omni Shoutmon to Shoutmon DX use its ability to put Z Greymon under it. And now he has Blitz. And let's say we uh, we paid like four memory, uh, passing our turn to, uh, well, essentially passing our opponent our turn. But since we have Blitz, we can still attack. So now we have two of these. We kill both of the sister mons. And then since we have Z Greymon under it and we can attack it unsuspended, we can swing into Savior Huckmon and just basically delete our opponent's board, which is insane. And with how Bricky Shoutmon is, or sorry, not Shoutmon, but with how Bricky Jessmon is, then they're just going to be in shambles. Like, there, there's nothing that they can do afterwards. They're just going to have to like hard play something, or or probably just try to rebuild whatever they have, and then uh, and then the Shout or whoever's playing Shoutmon at the time is just going to have a field day afterwards. Now. We do play level 7s in this deck, and it's just two, and it is Omnimon. Yes, it is the BT5 Omnimon that has Blitz, and it's fantastic. And there, there's multiple reasons why this card is fantastic, but the main reason is because you can unsuspend this Digimon. So, let's say we like swung already with Shoutmon, and we had like a bunch of like a bunch of like inheritables effects and whatnot, and it's still our turn. We can unsus or we can digivolve on Omni Shoutmon, unsuspend, and since it has Blitz, we can get the other inheritables off of that, uh, except the once per turn uh, inheritables, and then we can swing and potentially win the game. That is fantastic. And then also, if our opponent's effect would delete this Digimon by either returning it from the deck back to hand um, and, and or just deleting it in, 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 any, in any way uh, besides, I believe, well, besides uh, having his power reduced, of course. We could prevent it by adding a level 6 back to our hand, which is also busted if we have two of these level 6s on here and we have, like, security attack plus 3. We can swing... You know, maybe it's like a Gyre Force. Okay, we get Shoutmon back and continue with the checks. And then we'll check like twice. And maybe the last one's also another Gyre Force. We add Z, Z Greymon back. And then we still have this dude on board. That's crazy. I like that. I like that a lot. Now, for the next cards that we have uh, in our disposal, we, we got to play Tamers. We have to. And the only Tamer that we play is Tai Kamiya for two reasons two reasons one it's a memory reset tamer in which at the start of your turn if your memory is at two or less you get to set it back to three and then also all your red Digimon 
with four more Digivolution cards, gain security attack plus one. That's crazy. You wanna know why? So if we have this out on the field, right? And then we happen to have, let's say, let's say we have the, the, pack, the little package that we showcased earlier with Ami Shoutmon, Z Greymon, and then let's say we have this Shoutmon in our hand. Now let's say we did evolve this for two, giving our opponent like one memory and whatnot. And then we put this Voltramon on top of it. All right, you follow me? So now, so now after we did evolve, then we look at our stack, we see two, uh, we see a Z Greymon and Omni Shoutmon. Then we kill two 5,000 power Digimon. And then, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, let's say, <laughs> let's say we also have Greymon under it as well. Sorry about that. Got to make sure we have four sources. <laughs> but uh, let's say, yes, we kill two things and then we swing at our opponent. Now, since we have four sources and so that triggers a Tai Kamiya. So now we have security attack plus one, with this Greymon security attack plus two, Voltramon security attack plus three, Omni Shoutmon, since we're using Blitz, or since it has Blitz in general, security attack plus four, and then with just doing a check with Shoutmon, that's breaking five security in one turn. So we are essentially OTKing. That's crazy. <laughs> that's absolutely crazy. And so that's all the tamers that we play, but we do play some options. So the first option that we play is red memory boost. So this card is essential to any red deck, in, in, in my opinion, in my personal opinion. Because one, you reveal the top four cards of your deck and you add, it, add any red Digimon to your hand. Well, just one though, but it's still great. So you can uh, find the pieces that you're searching for. Like say if you needed like a level four and you happen to top deck, like maybe like two level fours, you can add one to your hand and then uh, boost up it to your Omni Shaman afterwards. Then it also has the delay ability in which on the next turn after you play this, you can pitch this card from your battle area to your trash and then you get to gain two memory. So you're telling me that essentially, for three memory, I have a searcher and a potential uh, hammer spark in, in a sense, even though it's not just one memory, you gain two. But still, that's crazy. I mean, then also another thing I should mention is that its security effect is that if it gets checked, instead of going to the trash, it goes straight to the battle area. So now the next turn, you can just pitch this to gain two memory. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Now the next three cards, or the last three cards in our deck, are kind of some some tech cards that I feel like are pretty necessary. So the first one is Gaia Force. Now this card can be essentially changed out with Atomic Blaster, but I feel like that sometimes uh, we don't really have a way of getting rid of certain like annoying or big bigger Digimon. So Gaia Force is just a, a straight up, just you know, just delete a digi, uh, opponent's Digimon, and then it gets it gets sacked. Or if they check in, into security, we get to pick a Digimon to kill, and it's just it's fantastic. Um, so this is the main card, or this is kind of like our our removal card of the deck. Um, and feel free if you want to make this deck at home, feel free to add more. Um, I I would probably add like another one. But I feel like with the meta that we have right now, this next card that I'm going to show off is very necessary. So with the next card that I'm about to show you guys, this is basically a card that counters kind of some of the, the bigger meta decks at the moment. And it's a delicate plan. Yes. Why is this card so good? All right. So actually, ooh, huh, funny side note, I have the... The original version and then the errata version on the right. That's actually pretty funny. I didn't realize that. Um, anyway, that's not important. But basically, uh, 
For one memory, one of your Digimon gains, this Digimon doesn't activate the security effects of any option cards it checks for the turn. So, this card is a big counter to security control. Wanna know why? So if we had that pass set up where we were able to swing for five securities, then that means, and then after, and if we play a delicate, a delicate plan on that shout one, then that means we don't trigger any Wyvern's Breath, any, um, uh, uh, any Iron Fisted Onslaught. Uh, what's the other card? Uh, Ultimate Flares. We don't check into those. Uh, any uh, healing, uh, healing cards, kind of like a uh, Holy Wave or even reinforce memory boost. Yeah, it doesn't check any of that. So it's absolutely fantastic. Um, now, if if I could rebuild this deck again, I might take out one a delicate plan just for, like I mentioned, like maybe like an Atomic Blast or a second Gaia Force. But I think also with how the current meta is and seeing how, um, if you play online, you're definitely gonna run across a lot of security control players. So I think this is a definite, uh, a definite stay for the moment. Now, this is another part of the video where I just wanted to talk about maybe some other recommendations that I would add. Uh, I know I mentioned it throughout the video, but these are two cards that I would uh, definitely kind of put in there. So the first card that I would definitely put in here is a Goonimon. Now, what you can do with this Agunimon is you could probably replace this with a Cordramon. Um, and also a Goonimon is awesome because uh, you could Digivolve this on top of a Tamer as if it's a level three Digimon. And then you can uh, swing afterwards. So if we happen to like swing with our Shaomon and we check all their security, but we don't have a uh, Omnimon in our hand to unsuspend and swing with blitz for game. We can just digivolve to a Goonimon and then swing afterwards for game. So essentially it's kind of a, it's, it's a, it's a win con uh, in a way. Um, and like I mentioned, you could probably just take the Cordramon out for it. But for my build, uh, I'll probably just keep the Cordramon just so I can have an additional blocker. So my opponent can't just like overrun me. <laughs> But if you would like to make this at home, like I mentioned, then feel free to add this card in here. Now, another card that I would probably will that I would consider adding to this deck uh, is something that uh, my good friend Coda Unlocks has in his Shoutmon deck, and it's Durandamon. Now, you might be wondering, uh, yo, this is Shoutmon. This isn't a <laughs> this isn't a, a Ragnar Lordmon deck. Well, yes, I agree, but also this Durandamon is cool because it has an inheritable of piercing, which is busted. Because if you did you evolve, let's say you have your Shaomon, and let's say okay, let's say you have Omni Shaomon on the board, and you did you evolve the Shaomon DX right, then you can put Durandamon under it. Then you can kill a 5,000 power Digimon. And then if they have something rested or whatnot, you can swing into that rested Digimon and still get two checks. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's absolutely great. Um, but those are just kind of some of the recommendations uh, or suggestions that I would put in this deck. Um, feel free, like I mentioned, if you want to make this at home, feel free to make it however you want to. But this is... Uh, the original deck is kind of how I want to play it out uh, for now. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's the that's the video. That's the deck profile. I hope you enjoyed watching it just as much as I enjoyed making this video for you. Um, like I mentioned, this was the first deck profile of 2022. So let's have an awesome year. And I hope to see you again for the next deck profile video. It's been your boy Zay, the resident Digimon expert here on the TCG Cast channel. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.